If you're a normal human being and you like to consume overpriced shit as I do, you will drink frequently at Starbucks. Starbucks has good, bad, weird, unhealthy and healthy drinks. Today I want to show you which of the drinks in Starbucks are truly the healthiest and which ones you should rather avoid. You will not find a secret pumpkin spiced latte with extra cream, stevia and blended ice in this video. You already know that I focus on the basics and I'm being honest with you, because that's what works in my eyes. As a general rule of thumb, for the biggest health benefits, the ingredients in your drinks should be unprocessed, vegan and antioxidant packed. And you should also be able to pronounce the ingredients correctly without having to google them first. Coffee is easy to pronounce. 2% silicon dioxide is harder. For example, a salted caramel hot chocolate is not in our healthy list. It's not vegan. It has as much processed stuff in there as you can imagine. It is not antioxidant rich and will even lead to inflammation in your body. It also has ingredients in there that you cannot pronounce and have never heard of before, such as carrageenan, sodium benzoate, citric acid, potassium sorbate, turbinado sugar, what the fuck, and silicon dioxide. Not cool. For your drinks to be healthy, they have to be unprocessed, vegan and antioxidant packed. Let's jump right to the top 3 Starbucks drinks. Number 3. Chai tea. In its most basic form, it consists of black tea leaves, with cloves, cinnamon and ginger powder and water. All ingredients are easy to pronounce, vegan, fairly unprocessed and antioxidant rich. Cloves, cinnamon and ginger are antioxidant bombs even. I don't recommend buying a chai latte, but if you do, keep it unsweetened and choose soy milk. Soy is a plant that has been shown to reduce your cancer risk and don't worry, it won't lower your testosterone. Remember that black tea contains a small amount of caffeine, so consume it in the morning and not in the evening. Only consume it in the evening if you like to live dangerously as I do. Top 2. Coffee. Coffee is an antioxidant rich, fat burning and tasty beverage. If you drink it in an espresso or bigger form, it doesn't really matter. Just remember that if you buy coffee in its bigger form, you will get more bang for your buck. Just make sure that you're not drinking too much coffee because it's loaded with caffeine which can increase your stress level and can interfere with your sleep pattern. The best way to consume coffee in a Starbucks is to do it the cold brew way. A cold brew contains exactly two ingredients, coffee and ice. This is amazing! Ice will even help you to burn slightly more fat because your body has to heat it up to digest it. He therefore has to invest energy which will lead to fat burn. Just don't add cream, sugar and other nasty flavors on top of it. And number one, green tea. You already know that I'm a green tea guy, don't you? Green tea has been shown to increase one's lifespan. The basic green tea drink in Starbucks has only two ingredients, water and green tea leaves. That's unbelievable and sexy. Yes. All ingredients are easy to pronounce, vegan, fairly unprocessed and antioxidant rich. You can go for the green tea latte which contains matcha leaves. These leaves contain even more antioxidants. Just tell them that you want to consume it with soy milk and the unsweetened way. There will still be a little bit of sugar inside it, but we all want to stay sane and don't be too hard on ourselves, at least not today. These are my honest top 3 drinks in Starbucks, green tea latte is my absolute favorite. If you also like to consume overpriced shit on a regular basis, like this video and leave a comment with your favorite drink down below. Thank you for your time and thank you for your trust, don't forget to stay healthy.